Hi, Anna. Hi, who are you? Thanks for showing me the boat today. Yeah, come over. I'll show you around. What's your favorite time of the day? Uh, my favorite time of the day, especially for sailing, is when the sun is setting. It's amazing. It's not hot and it's like super humid. Which boat's Urani? Urani is over there. We're gonna go see it right now. Our baby is uh, almost a year old boat. What's your biggest weakness? My biggest weakness is my hips. I don't know. Any biggest strengths? Show me the dinghy. We love it because it's very tiny. We have an engine that we know really well, so if it breaks, we will always know how to repair it. That's the plan. What's the best compliment you have ever received? Somebody told me the other day that in one of our videos they liked them because they, the, both the image and the voiceover was matching really well and it was inspiring. That was really That's nice. the best compliment ever. <laughs> I love to work on this. <laughs> and this is the uh, hatch that connects to our bedroom. Really nice at night because you know you have all this current of air. What's your idea of a perfect day, Dana? You know, like start in the morning, have a nice breakfast together, then go to some sports together, either if it's yoga or hiking, biking, um, skiing, sailing, whatever, and, and then have a nice like intimate dinner, maybe, and then nice dinner, and then like you know, so full day date. forward or backward as you wish so this is our cockpit and this is where we spend most of the time outdoors it's, everything is so manageable so it's what i like about it when do you feel the most inspired when i like i'm surrounded by people that are inspiring and i have like a day full of love we have this trunk we call it the trunk and so we have like a bunch of snorkel gear stuff that we use to lock the dinghy. wait this is huge right it's huge there's a lot of stuff there's, the there's like a few hundred meters of ropes yes and also like the shoes paddles inflatable then the rope the extra anchor everything you know? anna what song can you listen to on repeat oh my gosh any song from rosalia or now lately residente i love that one three three one three Quiero que tu pecho sea mi cama. just like bring the stair the ladder down What's one thing people don't know about you? I want to the chorizo sandwich in hot chocolate. Why is that? Because you love? Because I love dipping. I love dipping everything, you know? Cookies. Heels or flats or sneakers? I mean, obviously flats. Like, I never, I almost would not wear shoes. I mean, Berkey's if possible. Vintage or new? I mean, shoes new. Boats can be used. Um, bricks sometimes from here and fishes from here. So, um, fun fact. We built this bimini ourselves. When we bought the boat, this wasn't here, and we just like got those uh, U-shaped clamps and those metal bars, and we just put it together, and it's been the best thing we've done. No, no skincare surgery. Possible. What's the most adventurous thing you've ever done in your life? I'd say either this trip, or that one traverse we did in Canada, where we spent like one night just sleeping in the snow without a tent and it was really cold and it was like a ski traverse and we were up in the middle of the mountains with avalanche danger and what's uh, under the seats there in the cockpit a fuel tank for the for the engine 100 liters of diesel yes we also have a tarp that you can put on top of the boat for sh extra shade next the, the gas tanks and like a bunch of oil and the liquids fluids. for the engine as well as like the extra fire extinguisher and such What's your current favorite piece of clothing that you own? This shirt. I got it for my birthday and it's the best. I love it. Very nice. It's like a shirt dress. Yeah. What's a must-have clothing item on a sailing trip anyways? This. This is the must-have item. These, the, the sunglasses and the hat. I sun protection. Sun protection. These are extra solar panels. We have one here and we also have two up here, which I can show you. These two is what provide us with energy on top of the actual engine. And then we have a new battery that we, we bought less than a month ago in the BBI. You want to show me the batteries? And that's uh, what's keeping us electrified. 
So this is where we have the batteries. This is the new one, and this is the old one. Is that right? Um, Do you want a tea? I can make you a tea. Sure. Okay. This is how we filter water. We just take it from whichever thing we find along the way, and we just use the bridge top, which is like the best. What are you currently reading? Oh, I just finished The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho, and I'm currently looking for another book. Hopefully we can find some here in the Dominican Republic. What inspired you most from The Alchemist? It was about dreams, and so it was inspiring to see how you really need to chase them, because that's what life's about, really. What's your guilty pleasure? Chips. I love chips. What's your favorite board game? Um, maybe Rumi Cup, maybe? How do you start your day? Um, I can show you actually. I start my day laying here. Oh. <laughs> I start my day like this and I usually look at the light from the hatch and I'm like, oh, I think it's daylight already. And so I'm like, hmm, time to wake up. Then I look at the clock, it's usually 7 a.m., which is amazing because you wake up with the sun. And then I'll come out of the bed. And sometimes I'll like come to the washroom if I need. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. So convenient. Um, I'll do my thing. I'll, you know, and then I'll come here. And then there's this thing that you can like flush, which is also really nice. Um, and then I'll just come out and I'll be like, mm, let's see, is there sun today? And I'll like look at the horizon. And then I'll probably start making breakfast, but maybe sometimes Rick wakes up before me and he also makes breakfast for me. So either one or the other. If you were not an architect, what would you be doing? I'd love to be some illustrator or maybe actors. Let me show you the living space while the tea is in the making. Usually I'll come here and I'll take my book and then I'll, you can like read here and it's really nice. It's like a perfect spot. If we have a guest that wants to come for the night, they probably will sit here. We have blankets and everything. This is also a nice place where if you have like a lot of people, they can come and you have this like big table. Oh, it's huge. It is nice. And then you can have one, two, three, four, five, whatever, however many friends you What's have. What's your favorite food? Tomato. I love tomatoes. And favorite dessert? Um, I'd say tiramisu possibly. This is my favorite thing on the boat. It's the map of the trip that we've done. And I've been marking like all the islands that we've been visiting and I like love to stare at it the whole time because it's really... I love maps in general, but this one particularly. Can you show me the storage space? Yeah, we have a bunch of storage. We have storage kind of like underneath the the bench and also sort of on the walls like that, um, which is pretty convenient. So all of this is storage and all of this is storage. And we also have storage here um, as well as on the other side. So we have dishes here and then cups and then pots and then here we have the most convenient items like coffee or tea and here we have the fruit hammock they also have storage underneath the, uh, every space basically so underneath the beds and then underneath our bed and then we have like a closet here with sort of hanging storage what's your favorite exercise Just some yoga you want to show me the galley yeah so this is where we prep the food here you have a bunch of utensils. What's no. something you want to be doing in 10 years? In 10 years? Oh my gosh, I wish I was I'm a mom and I have like a nice community around me of friends and family that we're like growing the kid together. And yeah, that's what What's I'm the doing. cutest thing on planet Earth? The cutest thing? My friend's babies. <laughs> Especially what? when they're like traveling. Like we have these friends that have a baby that has been to Mexico and he's like a toddler and he's like in front of those like Mexican pyramids. Chichen Itza, and it's like the cutest thing. What's your favorite cocktail? I don't drink alcohol, unfortunately, so I'd say like a virgin pina colada or something. What's the best thing that happened this year? We did this sailboat trip. I mean, yeah. Ah, the tea is boiling, so I guess it's time to pour it into the cups. Is there a fridge as well? Yes. So here's our tiny fridge. We only use it when we have cheese or some like open milk jars or something like that. And um, so far so good because it's made us like buy a bunch of fresh food, food. What's your favorite thing in the world? People. What's one thing you had to learn the hard way? That you really need to be focused on the present. You can't like focus too much about the future because you know, this is just gonna bring anxiety and things like that. You need to be focused on the present, make the most of it. This is your tea. Do you want some tea? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.
Who do you turn to when you're sad? I usually would maybe talk to my parents, talk to Rick, or talk to my best friends. Like, I'd like send them a voice note and they usually comfort me. Uh, my parents are the best at that though. Like, no mm. matter what happens, they'd like comfort me. What did you do with your life at the age of 12? At the age of 12, I was enjoying my life with my friends. I was going on summer camps, learning about the mountains and playing theater and, you know, being happy. What are three words to describe living in the Caribbean? Three words to describe living in the Caribbean. It's gonna be the turquoise, the breeze, and the fruits. Do you want me to show you the nap table? Yes, please. We have a bunch of cables here, and we have a bunch of like other random stuff here. And we have the tablet, so this one will have Navionics on and we'll use it for navigating. So we'll have all our switches here. We charge our phones here. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Like if I have like a special day, I'll have like eggs. And if not, I'll have oats that Rick preps um, and with some fruit on top. Does this sailboat have an engine? Oh yes. Okay, so to see the engine, you basically have to open this up and... Um, okay, I think the visit's over. How many questions have you been? Are you throwing asking? me out? I think so. So, yeah, you're welcome anytime, but um, right now I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of my tea. Backwards. <laughs> Anna, what's your pet peeve? The what? Pet peeve. I don't know what that means. We also have this like nice um speaker. No, this doesn't come with the world. Oh. Mm. And this one is called, uh, what was it called? I don't know. I think it's called something that has like a funny name that I don't remember right now. But you don't really have to know the name, so you have to say it. That's that. Awesome. Friend of ears.